I can't believe I thought a bunch of plants were werewolves. Derp. Welcome back to Let's Play Magna Carta 2. Last time we completed uh, several side quests. I explained a little bit more about the battle system and elements and equipment and such. And I have not saved or anything yet here. So I'm going to do this. Yes. And uh, we're going to move on here into this area, the werewolves hideout. Uh, early game like this right now, uh, I would recommend using Zephy so you can use a lot of soul extractions to get some commons early on. You won't be able to use them all, but you can sell them for some good money, so might as well use them. You know, no one's ever glad to see us. Be careful, Juto. Werewolves are extremely vicious. That much is obvious, I'd say. Wow, that's our princess. I haven't seen her in action for a long time. Zephy, are you injured? I'm fine. I got a little careless there. What just happened? Zephy's signature technique. The hero Strauss's blood flows in the veins of the Berlinet royal family. They say that Strauss was a gifted wizard who was born to a human and a carta. That's why there are the occasional throwbacks born into the royal family. You know, people born with special abilities, like the ones Lord Strass exhibited. I myself possess the ability that you saw me use just now, but for some unknown reason, I still can't fully control it. I have the ability to initiate extremely powerful wizardry, but just not all the time. Even so, if it weren't for that power, I doubt that we would have been able to defeat Elgar that one time. You... defeated Elgar? You, Princess? Just the one time. But I'm afraid Elgar is still alive, even though I mortally wounded him when we fought. Back then, if I had only defeated him once and for all... I'll be the one to defeat Elgar. That's the reason I joined the Southern Forces. Oh, don't make me throw those words back in your face someday. The way I hear it, you defeated the Guardian. But judging from today's fight, you don't look that tough to me. Did that really happen? Crosal, will you please stop trying to provoke him? Yes, ma'am. You have such a soft spot for this guy, Princess. Crosal, your personality is the issue here. I give credit where it's due, if they deserve it. Excuse me? Leave it at that. All right now, the werewolf leader should be up ahead. He can be a bit of a jerk sometimes. Oh, werewolf boss. Regarding standard techniques and skills. Uh, there are times... Uh, yeah, holy ripple or spiral hammer. Blow off surrounding enemies. Um, yeah. Skill stuff. I can't back down. Uh, I think I want to switch to judo for this area just because, uh, so I can use the counter ability on occasion. Ooh, he's got vertigo. Oh, you're dead. D A D. Kick. Switch to Crocell. And I'll quickly go into overdrive, and there we go, we're backing down to no stamina. That's how you want to battle. Always think about lowering your stamina down to nothing so you can keep fighting. If you have to end a combo early, do it. Uh, yeah. oh, come on camera, stop getting caught on the tree. There we go, I'm going to wait a few seconds, see if Crystal attacks. He did, excellent. 
Sometimes just letting the AI control it for a little bit while you sit back is best. Oh, that was good. Two more chain breaks to add. You want to be farming them as much as possible if you want to try to get that achievement in one run. The 500. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Die, you. You don't belong in this world, you monster. That's not how that line goes. Okay, you over here. Ow. Ah, you missed. That does not count, by the way, for the uh, counter ability. Ah, uh, he's dead anyway. Yeah, dodging like that, it actually has to be a legitimate miss for it to count for the skill. Chain it! Uh, let's move over here. Oh, let's just go. Oh, I got it! Holy crap! I didn't... Uh, I wasn't aware that his stamina was so low. Oh, that's the boss. I'm gonna go kill everything else first so I don't get everything else caught in the fight. Yeah, wow, his stamina sucks. One combo and he goes into overheat. That's actually very good, in my opinion. Being able to go into overheat in one combo, that means at any point I can go over to him and I can actually keep a combo going. Like, uh, I can use him to reduce my stamina down to zero whenever I damn well feel like it. Like right now! Bam, bam, and this guy gets it. Kick! Hey, aren't I awesome? Actually, you are. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, Crocelle, You are awesome in fight. Your character aside, your personality aside, you are awesome in battle. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna use counter because you're just gonna die here. Bam, bam, and bam. Oh, that was actually a pretty good thing here. Okay, that's going good. Uh, there's the guy we need to save in the back there. In front of the house. Behind the big dude. Ooh, there we go. That's good. Bam. Broke his weapons. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Okay, big dude is the werewolf boss. Ow. He hurts. Let's see if I can get a chance to break his weapon. Cross L! I'm hoping that all this battle will actually easily... Easily portray what... the uh, How to use this battle system to... To kick ass things. Come on, heal me! Ooh, that was close. Oh, but he killed my uh, skill. I didn't realize he did that. Although sometimes your face really pisses me off. Ooh, I've never heard that line before. Of course, I never really used Crocell in the early game last time. He's apparently a lot more kick-ass than I gave him credit for. I always used Argo, Zephy, in Judo early game, but Crocell I would much rather have than Argo right now. Come on, let me break your weapons. Okay, like this. And burn it! Ow! Kick. And there's another good combo here. Burn, burn, and this should actually kill him, shouldn't it? Yeah, we go. Recipe for the snow crystal acquired. Uh, you would have gotten an achievement here for getting your first recipe. It's called obtained item recipe. It's like a floor, four leaf clover with a one on it. It's worth five gamer score. I think it's worth it. What's this? Plunder that the werewolves stole from the southern forces. Damn. I can't believe it's this bad. It appears that the werewolves have been working with the Northern forces for quite some time. This is... I don't believe it! Princess, what's the matter? Hmm. 
This is Kaito's armor. I can't believe I'm finding it in a place like this. Kaito? A mercenary we could always rely on. He put his life on the line for Lonsheim, fighting on the front lines. Well, I strongly doubt that he was killed by Sion Regro. How did he die then? I'd always heard that Kaito acted as a decoy to allow his men to escape and fought to his last breath. No matter how brave he was, he was no match for their numbers. <sighs> Zephy, Kaito's death is regrettable. But if not for his sacrifice, many more would have died that day. I know. There was no other choice. <sighs> Juto, this is our reality. On the battlefield, death is always right by our side. But you mustn't die. You have to live. Yeah. Will you take Kaito's armor? Huh? Kaito was a warrior who bravely faced even sentinels. He is no longer with us, but I'd like his torch to be passed on to you. That is, if you are ready to receive it. I understand. It looks pretty good on you. It does, I guess. I'm sure Kaito is very happy right now. Use this sword, too. It's a fine blade. Melissa... We've finished exterminating the werewolves. Let's head back to Abazet. Our mission is complete. Well, I guess we could take it easy here for a while longer. It doesn't look like the princess is quite ready yet. <sighs> Today has been difficult for her. Every piece of plunder represents a dead soldier. Being a princess who leads a southern forces unit is probably pretty tough. Well, in that case, she shouldn't have started this war in the first place. I mean, she's fighting to retake her throne, right? What are you talking about? It was that bastard Shuenzite that started it. He assassinated the previous queen, and then sent sentinels after anyone who spoke out against him. If the southern forces hadn't been on Highwind Island, it would have fallen victim to the sentinels long ago. Oh, come on. The southern forces were useless. Face it. In the end, they abandoned Highwind Island. Are you saying that was the princess's fault? Listen, pal, it's because of the princess that you're alive right now. If it was me, I wouldn't be babysitting some self-centered jerk who was spouting crap about getting revenge. The princess tries to shoulder the burden for everything herself. She'd feel the same even if you hadn't said it was the Southern Force's fault. I lost everything I had because of the Northern Forces too, but I didn't try to blame it on someone else like you do. It's her own undeniable sense of responsibility that causes her to lead a frontline unit with no regard of the danger. <sighs> Zephy is desperately trying to end this war. Which is why the burden that bears her down is commensurately heavy. She herself was the one who suffered the most over the fact that we couldn't save Highwind Island. Everyone, don't be too hard on Juto. Princess. I failed to save the island. I failed to fulfill my responsibilities as princess. Juto has every right to criticize me harshly. What are you saying? Come, let's go home to Abazet. <sighs> what did you think of your first mission? Was it difficult? Yes. For us, this is just another ordinary day. You'll need to get used to it quickly. I understand. I couldn't look at her. I couldn't look Zephy in the eye. 
I just stared at her back, which seemed so lonely. I was, I was just a kid who was drunk on his own circumstances. Crocell was right. Oh, hello. Save you, guild hostage member. Yes, now we have the cool new look, which we'll have pretty much for the rest of the game. Pretty much. Uh, thank you for rescuing me. Woo, I thought I was a gunner for sure. I can get away on my own. Thank you. Yay. Quest rescued. Okay, uh, we had email. What was it? Uh, do you know about Guardians? Oh, Igton. Created by Hero Strauss a millennium ago, Guardians are anti carta life living weapon. When the Great Carta War started, humans were losing badly. But thanks to living weapons, the war ended with victory for the human side. This means the Guardians were another principal player in, principal player in the Great Carta War. Good for him. Uh, crafting, yeah, you can combine commons. That was that recipe we got. Uh, we can combine commons into better commons. Yeah. It's just synthesis. That's basically what it is. Just combine two commons and get another one. Uh, you can get more co recipes. I think there's like 12 total or something like that. Uh, most of them are usually pretty kick-ass. Uh, treasure chest here. What's in it? We also got a new weapon, which instantly equipped itself. Ooh, two cure leaves. I think cure leaves heal the entire party. There's two different types of healing items. There's ones that heal a single person, one that heals the entire party. Uh, heal, yeah, healing seed and healing leaf heal one ally. Cure heals the entire party. Cure seed, cure leaf. Then revive capsules. Revive party members. Uh, what do we have? What do we do? We have anything else new here? No, oh, nope, just equipment. Uh, so we have Kaito sword and oh, okay. Um, they've shown up now. Uh, these two weapons <laughs> might notice their power is a little high. That's because these are from the DLC. Um, if you have the DLC, go ahead, free, feel free to use them. They'll be kick-ass and they'll carry you throughout the entire game. For the sake of the Let's Play, I'm not going to use them. So, uh, I'll use them, like, end game. Like, Actually, no, I'm not going to use them at all. I might use them late, 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 late game, but I will, like, it, it might be used for, like, training sessions, not for actual missions and such. I'll switch to regular weapons beforehand, but these weapons are truly kick-ass. And as you can see, they got two-handed sword and one-handed sword. All, every character will have theirs now. Yeah, and yeah. So I won't be uh, using any of those weapons. Those come with the DLC. You can go buy it for five bucks if you want. You also get some movies, which I'll, sh like, uh, live action short little chat sequences like we've been having in the storyline, which I will show at some point once we have the characters that they correspond to and it actually, like, makes sense to people. <laughs> um, yeah, but you get all those, you get all, you get those additional weapons as well, uh, you get some additional achievements, which, uh, basically were, pick up every weapon for this character, pick up every weapon for this character, pick up every weapon for this character, and, uh, you just have all those achievements. All right. Let's but, uh, yeah, I won't be using those weapons. Just making that clear right now. If I did, I'd be walking through this area so quickly. This thing would already be dead in one hit. And, uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Anyways, next time we're going to return to Abazet, and we're going to continue on in the story a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so, uh, have a good one, guys. Oh, hi, Guild Moss hostage member. Wait, do we have any... Uh, do, we, do we have to go back and hand this mission in, or are we done with this side mission? No, we need to go back and... Uh, yeah, we need to go back and uh, hand this in. Uh, where do we need to go back to hand this in? Is it to the same guy? Uh, no, we need to go to the Merchant Guild in Abazet. So we need to go back to Abazet to return that. So, yeah. Next time, we're going back to Abazet. See you guys.